So recently I took a week long trip to a mystical beautiful land known as Brazil and consequently a very long 10 hour flight from New York JFK to Sao Paulo, a 4,700 plus mile long journey. But this isn't going to be a vlog about the vacation, because I'm not an interesting vlogger. See, something interesting happens on the way up, and down. Your ears pop, and it hurts, and sucks. And here's why. Okay, so here's the head. The throat connects here to the mouth and nose somewhere near the back. But that's besides the point. Anyway, there's also another connection. A tube between the throat and the ears, right about there, called the eustachian tubes. In theory, their job is to equalize the pressure between the middle ear, that's the area between the eardrum and before the inner ear, and the outside, but slowly. See, every time you move your mouth muscles, you're also partially opening the eustachian tubes, allowing for air to move freely between the two chambers until a dynamic equilibrium is reached, which is when the two chambers have a comparably similar pressure. It's sort of like opening a shaken bottle of soda, where the inside of the bottle is under a great deal of pressure compared to the outside one atmosphere pressure, except just much, much slower, and smaller, and less violent. So moving over from that analogy, the reality goes something like this. The rapid change in altitude experienced when ascending in a plane or a super fast elevator creates a pressure difference, where the inside of the eardrum is at a higher pressure than the outside, or exterior mouth and nose region and vice versa during a descent, like landing or going from the top floor of a skyscraper to the lobby. Swallowing and holding your nose then forces the eustachian tubes to open, and just like how the soda bottle opening causes a net movement of fluid from high pressure to low pressure, the fluid, or specifically in this case air, makes a net movement from high to low pressure, which can be either from the eardrum out or from the mouth in, depending on whether you're taking off or landing. More importantly though is the fact that this quick change in pressure creates a shock wave, which the eardrum picks up as a pop, sort of like So what causes ears to pop? Well, now you know.